Good afternoon and welcome to the San Francisco SPCA Spay and Neuter Clinic. My name is Eric. I'm a veterinary technician and I'm here to give you some information to make sure that your animal recovers as quickly as possible from surgery. At this point, we are going to bring your animal out and they might seem groggy or sleepy or just different than what you're used to. That's normal. Today they underwent surgery and they do have drugs and the anesthetic in their system so they will be a little different. By tomorrow morning, they should seem back to normal. If they're not, then please give us a call and let us know because that could be a complication with the drugs. At this point, your pet probably hasn't had anything to eat today. We might have offered them a little snack, but most likely they're gonna be really hungry. When you bring your animal home, it's gonna be very important to give them a little bit of food and water. With the food, I do recommend going slow. Start with just feeding them a little bit and see how their stomach handles it. If they're nauseous or vomit, it's gonna be best just to take away that food and resume normal feeding later. But most likely, if you go slow and give them food, Little by little, they should be okay. When we bring out your dog, he or she is gonna be wearing an e-collar or a cone. The reason why we use these is because they're very, very effective to prevent them from licking or chewing or scratching at their incision site and it's very, very important to keep this on them. I recommend keeping it on them 24 hours a day for the next seven to 10 days, or at least until their incision is well healed up. But with cats, it's a little different. The females are sent home with a soft blue, smaller e-collar, and you're only gonna have to put that on if they start trying to lick at their incision site. With the males, typically they don't have this issue, and we don't send them home with e-collars, but it doesn't mean there's no chance that he's not gonna go after his, his incision. So if he does, you are gonna to wanna to make sure that he has an e-collar as well. You can either pick an e-collar up from us, or you can pick one up at a pet store. Tonight, it is very important to make sure you keep a good eye on your pet. Since they had their surgery today, they do still have these drugs in their system, so they could have a reaction still. Starting tomorrow morning, I like to say that's the beginning of a mellow recovery period. One thing that you're gonna wanna monitor is the incision site. Things to monitor for is checking to see if there's redness, swelling, discharge, especially if there's discharge that looks like pus, you're gonna wanna give us a call because there could possibly be an infection starting. Since this is a mellow recovery period for your pet, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you keep your dogs on a leash and steer away from the park. Reasons why is if they're running around in the park, they might pull a stitch, they might get dirt in their incision and that would be bad. They're gonna be much more likely to get an infection. But if you keep them on a leash, you take it easy with them, maybe go on short walks, they should be okay. So with the cats, if you normally keep them indoors, that's great, that's what we're going to ask you to do. Um, it's going to be best just to only keep them inside, that way you're going to be able to keep a good eye on them, make sure they have a safe, healthy recovery. Also to minimize chances of an infection developing is just to keep your animal dry and clean. So that means no bathing or swimming for the next 7 to 10 days. If you brought in a dog or a female cat today, we used absorbable suture to close their incision. With male cats, we don't actually use the suture to close their incision. So in both cases, don't worry about coming in for a follow-up appointment. The suture will absorb on its own and they'll heal just fine.
Also, if you're picking up a male cat, it's going to be important to take away his regular cat litter and replace that with something like shredded newspaper or even a cat litter that doesn't have a dusty particle. Reason why is sometimes those particles from dusty cat litter can get into that incision and create an irritation. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask the technician that brings out your animal. If you still have questions when you get home, you can refer to the handout that we give you or just give us a call. Now you should have all the information to make sure that your animal has a quick and easy recovery. Thank you for coming in the San Francisco SPCA and also for getting your animal spayed and neutered. It was great to work with you and with your pet.